So this one is actually a bit more difficult, especially if you don't know what you're looking for. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can scrape data from ASPX sites that have a form that make a post request. And it's all down to that view state key. And I'll show you what I mean. On this site here, you'll see that we have this author and tag. And when we select one of the authors, we actually get the option to select a tag. And then when we hit search, we get the information regarding to the fields that we have filled in here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go and have a look at the network tab. Let me just remove all of these. Let's go back to nothing and you'll see that when we select an author, there is a post request to this filter.aspx endpoint. When I click on this, you'll see that we have a payload that has the author that we selected and this view state. Now this is the view state that we need to take care of and hold on to. So I'm just going to copy this out because this long text string here is actually base 64. I paste it in and you can see that we get the information back that has the authors list that was on the drop down. So with that in mind, let's start to write some of our code. So the way that we're actually going to work is that we need to grab the main page here we need to make a normal get request to this page grab all the option values and then the view state and then make that post request but we need to do that twice because we're making a post request when we click this then a post request when we click this and then when we hit search that's when we get the data back okay so i have some code already written just my if name is equal to main and my main function and we're going to start in here so i'm going to use a client this is going to be httpx Dot client. You can, of course, use requests if you want to. This is the same as a request session. I'm using Selectolax to pass. You can use BS4 if you prefer. So let's grab our URL, which is going to be equal to, let's just grab this from here. We don't want the filter bit. We just want the main bit. Let's put you in there. And then let's make our first get request. So let's do our HTML is going to be equal to client.get URL. Now, it's important to note that this is not actually the correct URL that we want to make it to. It's actually going to be the search URL. So if I go back here, this says filter, but it's not the filter one. It's the search.aspx. This is the first page. So we need to make it to this one because if we make it to this one, we get this page. You just need to be aware of it on this website. Okay, let's make our first request. So I'll say data is equal to client.get, client.get. And we're going to say URL. Now on this website, we just need to make sure that we post the, where we make a get request to the first page, we use the search.aspx and we make the post request to the filter. So we just need to make sure we put this in here uh, just for this website. So I'm going to put in plus so we can catenate search.aspx like so. Then we can print out the data um, just to make sure we get something back. Let's print out the text of this data. Go to my terminal. Let's run this code. We should get a load of text back. There we go. So these are all the option values. This is the data that we want. And there's our view state, which we're also going to need to grab. Great. So let's go back here. Let's remove that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a new function that's going to take this uh, data, turn it into the HTML with the parser, and then get that information out that we want. So I'm going to call that author get, and we're going to pass in, uh, let's call it response. So we need to say our HTML is the HTML parser for response.txt, just creating that uh, object that we can work with. And let's go ahead and do uh, the options, it was the option values that we wanted that had the author in, html.css, and let's find the actual element, select element, ID author, then option values. Okay, cool. So let's do select ID of author, author, then every option underneath. Now we can do for opt in options because this is going to return a list. CSS always returns a list. CSS first returns the first matching one. Let's print out opt.attributes and let's put our author get in here uh, we're printing out so we can just call it like so author get data great so let's go back here run this and it's not supposed to be response.html response.txt my bad there we go so now this should work okay so we can see that we get the value back with all of the authors in the list now one thing that i noticed here is you'll see is that the first one is actually empty and it's picking up the dashed line, I guess. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to index 
out from the first one uh, just so we don't have to worry about that missing key there we go done but we actually do want the value so we can do dot get because this is a dictionary so we do dot value there get the value of that and let's just double check we're all good super so you remember on the page we were making a post request so we need to mimic this post request here so it's got an author the tag is nothing so maybe we can just omit that in this case and that view state so we need to grab this view state from the element so i'm going to come and put that just above here and i'll call this view state and that's going to be equal to html.css first and let's find the selector for this on the under the uh, html there we go so it was input id double underscore view state like so view state and it was under the attributes, attributes of value. So there we go. So let's print the view state, uh, save. Uh, there it is. Okay, so we've got all the information in the right place now. Let's come back here and let's start to construct our post request. So I'm going to say that this is going to be form data because we are going to be sending it essentially as in a form, form data. And we will have our author key is going to be equal to this string here our view state and it was double underscore view state that we need to send that is going to be equal to the view state that we have created i'm going to ignore the tag one in this case um, i don't think we need it here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use yield and i'm going to yield out the form data because we're going to turn this function into a generator function because we want to do something every time this is going to come out so this is going to give us that iterator that we can then use so i'm going to remove this print statement so now this function here is going to return an iterator. What we can actually do is we can just amend this and we can say for, let's move this to the middle of the screen, author in author.get. This is going to return this form data so we can make a post request with it. So we'll do author HTML is going to be equal to HTTPX. Let's make our post request, uh, client rather. We're going to use our client here, dot post. We're going to be posting to this URL and we need to give it the uh, filter.aspx, which is the one here under the network tab. See, we're posting this, but it's going to this filter.aspx. And we say our data is going to be equal to the author, which is coming out of this function here. So we need to actually work with this response, the author HTML response. So we can do for tag in tag get. And we need to give it the author information, which is author. Uh, and this is actually the form data that we're returning this variable here. So we need to actually access the author key because it is the uh, dictionary. And then we can give it the author HTML like so. So it's basically the same thing. We're just kind of doing a post request, getting some data back, taking it, and then doing another post request, and then getting the data back, which is going to be this one. And that's going to be equal to the actual quote information that comes back. So we'll call this one quote HTML, going to be equal to client.post. And we are posting again with the URL plus the filter.aspx because this is the URL that we post to. And our data is the tag data that we're getting through. So this function, the tag get function, uh, yields that form data with all the information, the author and the tag and the view state, which is important. So from here, let's print out the uh, HTML parser and we can just do the quote, quote HTML like so. And I need dot text, dot text save and run and we should get a passing response and we can see that they have different number of bytes so that suggests to me that they are different which is exactly what we want so now we can actually build the final function which is going to take this data that we get back the html from this post request for the tag which is doing here so when we do this post request we get this html back which has the quote information in it down here now some of these do return multiple quotes so we need to be keep that in mind so let's have a new function pass quote and this is going to take in uh, let's call it the response again then we can have our html is equal to the html parser for response.txt as before and whilst i remember let's just remove that there and the quotes is going to be equal to html.css. Remember I said there's multiple quotes, so we want to make this a list. And it's div.quote is the element that we want. 
So now we can loop through this and we can actually construct our data. So I'm actually going to do is I'm going to create a data class for this real quick. I always like to do this if I'm dealing with any information quote and it will be um, author, which is a string content, which is a string and then a tag comes out as well, which is also a string. So let's go back down to our quote. So we can do four. Actually, let's call this quotes and we can then make this a bit neater for quote in in quotes quote is equal to our data class of quote let's put this in here and we need author which is going to be equal to i'm doing a dictionary here i'm not going to do that author which should be equal to html uh, quote dot css first and i'll just make sure i've got the right element span class content author and tag there it is span dot author dot text strip is equal to true just in case there's any white space let's copy this do it three times format with black get that neat and tidy and then let's print out our new quote right let's add this in to our pass uh, our main function so we'll just do pass quote for on the quote html okay let's run it And there's the quote information coming back. So what this is going to do is this is going to make that post request when we select an author. And then it's going to take that response from that post request and make a new post request for every tag and pass the information that comes back from that post request to get the quote details that we're seeing on the screen now. And the important thing for every time we make that post request is that we maintain that view state and we send that with it so we can actually get all the information. If you've enjoyed this video, I appreciate like, comment and subscribe and maybe even watch this one next if you want some more web scraping content.